five, four, three, two. Hello. TV Games Music and Cartoons here, and this is the 8th episode of Lost Media Extravaganza. Today's episode is pretty different, as it revolves around a single character, from Nickelodeon of course. This lovable and popular character is someone who you would never expect to have his own show, but he does. His name is... Gibby. Believe it or not, this fan favourite character from iCarly was at one point going to have his own show. This isn't surprising, considering the man who created the character, who gave life to the character, you already guessed who he is, I literally talked about him in the last video. This man has an extreme likeness to spinning and spinning off his shows and characters. By now, it's obvious that all of Dan Snyder's shows take place in the same universe. That's definitely not hard to tell. If you don't believe me, just watch all of Dan's shows in order, excluding all that, since it wasn't created by him, he was just the executive producer. Now, some unaware, maybe a little bit uncultured, people may be asking, who is Gibby and what is iCarly? Gibby is a character from Nickelodeon's team sitcom, iCarly. iCarly was a popular show and still is, and another personal favourite of mine. The plot was about a pretty average teenage girl, Carly Shay, who lives in an apartment building with her older brother Spencer. Her life gets turned around when she, her best friend, and her deeply in love nerdy next door neighbour decide to start their own web show. At first, they didn't think this idea would go anywhere, but it ended up becoming the biggest web show on the internet. Back to the real iCarly, despite what those pesky critics thought about the show, teens alike and even young adults love this show. The show does have a unique and quirky cast of characters. Gibby debuted in the very first season, like the rest of the characters. He was very dorky, unpopular, and got bullied a lot, which caused him to become ominous. Gibby is known to do random things like taking off his shirt and calling his own name. Heck, he even has his own replica head of himself. Why? I don't know. Gibby isn't a very relatable person, you see. That's what makes him a notable character and a fan favourite. When the show was coming to an end in 2012, most people thought that's the last time we would ever see Gibby. But it's not. Kind of. After iCarly finished, Dan Snyder produced not one, but two spin-offs of iCarly, but only one of them got picked up by the network. Around late 2012, two pilots were made. One was Sam and Cat, both the spin-off of iCarly and Victorious. The other one was of course, <coughs> Gibby. As you probably guessed, Gibby was not picked up. This was unfortunate, especially since Gibby had so much potential in his own show. And also, there is in fact a full-length pilot of the proposed spin-off. Yes, it's unaired. Oh boy, another lost pilot. I'm excited. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Hold your horses. Before we go searching for the pilot, let me explain the plot of the show. Gibby was to center around, of course, <coughs> Gibby, working in a recreational center as a mentor for four offbeat middle school students. It was meant to star Noel Monk, reprising his role as <coughs> Gibby. Now, as for what's left of the pilot, not much actually. It's quite sad and a bit strange, since Dan seemed to have really hyped this show up. He even released a tweet about him happily editing the first episode of Gibby, and that he can't wait to see what's in store. But for some reason, he cancelled the series, leaving it buried and the pilot stored away forever. The only thing that remains of this pilot is the official logo, one single cast photo, and even a script of the pilot. Oh, and I almost forgot, there's also a few set photos revealing the center's name, the Bixby. According to the IMDB article for Gibby, these are a list of actors and character names for the show. However, the validity of this info cannot be confirmed. Dan Snyder himself never revealed the characters' names or actors involved with the show, so I don't know where IMDB got this info. Fans even speculated Gibby's manager to be a man named Mr. Waggett. This is just complete bullshit. Made up by fans, unconfirmed. I think people just want there to be a bigger story to tell, since there really isn't much to tell about Gibby. It's been 8 years since Gibby was announced, and I doubt it will ever become a full show anytime soon. Especially since Dan Snyder was fired from Nickelodeon. You all know what happened by now, it's been covered all around the internet. Well, that does it for me. Another day's hard work. Nah, I'm kidding, I honestly don't feel like I worked very hard today. But at least you learned something new, right? Nah, oh, who am I kidding? This video was a complete waste of your time. But still, peace out. Wait, hold it. Before we finish, I just found out something else. Gibby actually made a cameo appearance in Sam and Cat, still played by the same actor. In fact, two other characters from iCarly appeared in the same episode, Neville Papperman and Nora. 
both played by the same actors from the show. There's been quite a few cameos in Sam and Cat, so they're not really gone for good. Although Sam and Cat didn't last very long, it only lasted about 35 episodes before being cancelled, and I'm not going to explain the details of why. So bye for good this time. No, I'm serious, I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, okay, okay, I'm going. I'll get out of your hair.